can get this set up there. Ooh, a little bit off to the center. Oh, girl. I want to get this car moving. Got Hollister in the back. She was up all night. Just with a wicked mad cough. And, um... Just couldn't sleep very well. Like... I came back from work at about 11... 30 or so, and she was been moving around, and Melissa had just put her back down from holding her and stuff, and she only, she's not running a temperature, but I just think she can, she, her throat's just raw from coughing, and she just doesn't want to drink very much, and maybe the formula is like irritating her throat or something. Not really sure, but um, feeling a little bit tired today. Not gonna lie. So I stayed uh, kind of holding her, and then I tried to get her in her little um, swingy seat, which she sat in for probably oh maybe maybe forty five minutes or an hour, which I thought was kind of cradled her better because she couldn't toss and turn as much but um yeah just did not sleep all the way through the night and um yeah we got Oakley and Skylar off to school today and Oakley missed all last week because of her little nose running and cough and got her COVID tested last week and she was negative um but it's uh this is the tough part of parenting and really the toughest part last night for me was um just having to like hold her while she was crying and screaming I could tell she was unhappy and maybe uncomfortable but what kind of like um methods can you use for a five month old to help them like you can't it's I mean adults will complain a lot even about the smallest thing so it's just been a lot I think one of our <clears throat> and we were gonna try and send her to to her daycare today too but with all the coughing and decided not to and just at a point where I'm not even I'm not even like worried about missing work anymore I'll just go in whenever I can whenever my kids aren't like like whenever my kids are finally asleep or at least one of them can watch them just make it happen I think it's all you can do, especially during this this time. Is just roll with the punches and try and uh, just try and try and do as best as you can. I think we are under the circumstances. Um, it wouldn't be easier if we only had two kids, which it was before. But it's neither here nor there. I'm just. I'm just feeling it. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I think I stayed with her until about 2, and then Melissa bailed me out. And it seems like they might have slept on the couch for a couple hours, and I, I took her back at... No, it was like 4.30, and then Oakley came out. She thought it was probably later than it was. It wasn't, and so I tried to sleep in our bed with Oakley and, and um, Skyler, and that was a that was interesting. You wouldn't think a six-year-old and two-year-old would have any problem getting comfortable in a king-size bed, but um, dude, I was made with like massive taquito, <laughs> and. Um, both of them decided to like lay sideways 
like all up in each other's space and it was, it was ridiculous. Uh, uh, I think I, I think I lasted in there maybe 20 or 30 minutes before I was like, I screw this. I'm just going to go take the baby back, feed her. And I guess you could only eat about two ounces. And uh, then, hey, yeah, fed her. And I think we both fell asleep for maybe another hour or so. And uh, that, was, that was pretty much it. And the breakfasts were starting to be made and the getting in the changed and the all that good stuff so yeah I feel tired dude I did doze off for 20 or 30 minutes during the football game that was one nice thing my wife let me watch the um, Chargers versus Raiders game and we, we beat them so we're it's a three way tie for first but we're definitely above the Raiders because we just beat them head to head and um it's a good game, dude. This is a good start. The coach is far better. Um, I think philosophically, he just has a better he just has a better way about himself, and he's not a he doesn't seem like afraid or conservative down the stretch. Where we've had these the last two coaches, McCoy and um, Lynn, were seemed like. And, of course, I've never coached a down nor played a down of football in my entire life. So I'm only speaking on the passive eye test of of not a casual fan because I've watched almost every game religiously since uh, 2006. Maybe 2005, but honestly, I really don't remember Breeze's last season. But I was there for... The entire Rivers um, situation. Um, There's some good years too, but um, I don't know. Like, yeah, Lynn and uh, I liked Marty personally. Um, I wasn't the biggest Norb Turner fan, um, but I mean, that goes to show you we've been through Marty Schottenheimer, Norv Turner, Mike McCoy, Lynn. Anthony Lynn and then now um, Brandon Staley and uh, I believe he's the youngest of all of them um, and he just I don't know maybe he's the first defensive coach I know Lynn was a was a running back coach and um, Marty Marty might have just been a coach um, anyways Anyways, he just doesn't seem scared at the end of the game. He's not like we went for four and fourth down a couple times, trick plays. We ran the ball with like confidence at the end of the game. So that's a good start, man. Three and one. And we've already beaten the Raiders and Kansas City. Um, and then we played. I think we played like Jacksonville, and and we lost to the we lost to the Cowboys. I don't even remember who we played first, but um, yeah, three and one ain't too shabby. Um, so that was yeah, I got to watch that, but I dozed a little bit um, in one of the quarters. Could have been that long, um, but then. I just went to work and came back, and then I was up until, let's see, like 1.45 or 2, and old man, Melissa bailed me out, and then, yeah, I guess from like 2 to, 2 to like 4.30, and then 5.15 to 6, it wasn't, it wasn't a lot, and I'm not, I'm not gonna try and complain sure it's coming off that way but what's the point it's not changing the fact that I didn't sleep very much and all those other times I've slept plenty um it's just it's just the grind right now and I think uh if I gotta drive my car around a little bit more so my kid sleeps then so be it but I don't hear 
no. I don't hear no uh, screaming from you back there, Hollister. So that's good. My throat's just raw, too. I think it's from all the coaching. Just the... Um, trying to hear myself above the masks so that the players hear yourself above the masks. So, but having said all that, it's, we don't have it bad. <laughs> we still don't have it bad. Uh, there's a little pull off. No, don't have it bad. And we got options. Holy shnikes. It's a log jam. Must not be that bad because we still got traffic, y'all. We still got Audis, y'all. Still got traffic. Oh, no. In a state of minor delirium right now, just from a lack of sleep. And you know what? Like, uh, it's okay. It's gonna be times where you're just not gonna sleep enough. And I'm okay with that. I really am. Uh, it's just uh, then you start eating too much and then you have terrible terrible shits that's all part of it too Ugh. stay hydrated I guess <laughs> oh so I don't know I'm try and get to the office today luckily we don't have practice we do have a match but it's away at Cabrillo, so I'm not going to go to that, I wasn't going to go to that anyway, so, so good, and then tomorrow's uh, practice, and the day after we play San Marcos for uh, first place, if we win, we get first place outright, as long as we, we uh, take care of Lompoc the following week, but um, if we lose, it's going to be a three-way tie between us and the other two. Other two schools, and that would be, that would be a freaking heartbreak, but it's games at home. We have the advantage. We have the guns. We know they're just going to set the middle. We just got to serve and pass, play a little defense, and our outsides will get theirs. And play with confidence and ride that line between putting a ton of pressure on yourself and just being loose and pumping up some teenage teenage girls man getting them excited to play excited for a challenge and not scared of defeat yeah and just be the aggressor just be the first one to take the shot first one to go for it okay be the louder one yeah, it's gonna be fun no matter what honestly with all this all this stuff with my own kids swirling it's it's nice just to have something that's going well and has potential and my kids are going well and have potential too they just <laughs> they're just they're struggling to uh stay healthy it's the time of year i don't know anyways thoughts on this tired morning but grateful still all right Y'all have a good day and uh, try and get some rest.